Now, your WMBD Sports Extra with Kurt Pegler and Patrick Cunningham. It is a huge night in high school sports season. Welcome to Sports Extra. I'm Kurt Pegler. And I'm Patrick Cunningham. Softball, track, lacrosse are headed straight ahead, but first we head to the soccer pitch. And we're going to state. U High playing in the Class 1A state Final Four, second year in a row. Scoreless with Pleasant Plains, second half, 43rd minute freshman Aubrey Balada, the goal to put the Pioneers in front. Her 33rd of the season, it's 1-0 U-High. Then, in the 58th minute, some U-High insurance. Scout minored another freshman with a huge second goal to give U-High a 2-0 lead. And U-High goalkeeper Nina Sunderum is going to come up big with some saves at the end. U-High shuts out Pleasant Plains 2-0 and will play for a state championship tomorrow. Meanwhile, Notre Dame plays in a sectional title game against Geneseo. This is Class 2A, the Irish strike early, 8th minute penalty kick. Claire Gerard cashes in. The Irish have a quick 1-0 lead. Then in the 16th minute, a beautiful goal here. Hannah Daly with a perfect pass through the defense. Maya Wardle, a one-timer, and Notre Dame roars out to a 2-0 advantage. They've got all the momentum, and Daly with another gorgeous assist. This time off the free kick behind that referee, sends it into the box. Fellow freshman Abigail Shattuck heads it in. Three first half goals, it's 3-0 Irish. Early second half, a great effort here by number seven, Maddie Stickelmeyer. Outfights the defender for the ball, she buries it. Notre Dame is a sectional champion with a 4-0 win. I think it really just got the ball rolling, and I think coming back after Tuesday with just like shaky offensive plays, we really sat down, played our style today, and I'm really proud of everyone. I thought this was our best game of the, of the postseason for sure. Um, the girls really are excited for it, and um, they really relish the, the big moment. And uh, we have some girls that, that are just very competitive, and they're excited for, for uh, Tuesday. Notre Dame wins that sectional. They've got a sectional trophy. They'll play Bennett Academy in the super sectional with the state bid on the line on Tuesday. Now to the softball postseason. A great matchup in the Class 1A sectional title game in Havana. It's Havana taking on two-time defending state champ Illini Bluffs. First inning, Zoe Eaton sends a line drive to left. This is going to score Lily Hicks and the Tigers. They get on the board. Same inning, Annabelle Fortin with a grounder right back up the middle. Two runs are going to come home, including Annabelle Raymer. It's now 3-0 Tigers. We go to the third, Jaden Stone. She sends this deep fly ball to left. This almost got out, but gets down in front of the wall. Katie Miller scores, but IB, they are going to advance. Chloe Eaton is going to drop this one into right center. Fortin is going to come around to score. The Illini Bluffs Tigers are headed back to the Super Sectionals. They are 7-3 winners. It feels great. I mean, we were here two years in a row, and it was a tough game, but I'm glad how we came out, and I was confident the whole time. I'd say this year it's all for fun, like been there, done that. We have nothing to lose this year. We lost a lot of seniors last year, and this year, yeah, it's all for fun. It feels great. It's it's very, like, I didn't think I would get here. Like, I didn't think I would start, but I came back and did it. I think we're going to do really good and just, just kick butt. The Tiger Super Sectional matchup will be Monday at 11 a.m. in Athens. Tremont plays at defending state champ Rock Ridge in a two-way sectional final. Turks are down 3-0 in the first, but Maya Larango changes that with this swing. This is a two-run homer to right. That pulls Tremont within a run, but Rock Ridge eliminates Tremont for a third straight year in the sectional. Kendall Lewis hits a grand slam. They go on to beat the Turks 12-2. Class 3A regional softball title game is Dunlap playing at Metamora. The Redbirds string some two hits, or two out hits together in the second inning. Kennedy knee with a single to short left. That brings home a run to make it 2-0. Next hitter, Cadence Till. She's going to rip an opposite field. Double down the line and left. Knee's going to come around and score all the way from first. It's 3-0 Metamora. Next hitter, Katie Ramage delivers a single to left. That scores Till. Redbirds are your regional champs after a 13-4 winner over Dunlap. Great regional title matchup here. East Peoria at Normal West. Normal West, Emily Coble. She's going to drop this ball to right. This will just stay in fair territory inside the line for a hit. She hustles to second for a double. Great base running. Moments later, Emily McCandless. She's going to knock her home with a hit to left. It's the only run of the game. Normal West wins the regional title with a 1-0 win. Class 3A regional championship game played in Washington where the Panthers play host to Lincoln. 1-1 game. Washington's Ellie Redling Schaefer. Grounder to second, that's Bobble. That allows Katie Coclesher to come home. It's a 2-1 Panther lead. Later, it's Malone McKinley singling up the middle here. And here comes Bailey Herrick around third. She's going to slide home safely. Panthers rally for a 6-1 win. They are regional champs and off to the Metamora sectional.
Pekin plays in a regional title game and the Quad Cities are taking on United Township. They're down five runs, but Courtney Campbell is going to help bring Pekin back. This is an opposite field, two run bomb to right. Oh, but she's not done. An inning later, it's Campbell again. This time she's going to smoke a ball to dead center. This homer is coming right at the camera. Pekin had a 6-5 lead, but lose a wild game in eight innings, 16-10. Boy State track and field prelims in Charleston. This is Morton's 4 by 100 relay. Carl Whitaker on the anchor leg. Morton qualifies for tomorrow's state finals. Great day for the field events. Metamore's Drew Tucker advances in the high jump. IVC's David Russell and Normal Community's Alex Son are to the finals in both the shot put and the discus. And this is Reese Dusick of Dunlap. Second best qualifying time in the 800. He'll run for a state title tomorrow. Finals are tomorrow in Charleston. Washington playing for a lacrosse sectional title against Andrew. They're down 7-6 to six in the third. Cannon McQuery fires. It's blocked. But there for the rebound is Charlie Barton. And we're tied heading into the fourth. In the fourth, it's Barton again for the Panthers. This is going to give them an 8-7 lead. But under 20 seconds left, they're down one. The two cousins, Jackson to Cannon McQuery. He scores to send it to overtime. But in overtime, Andrew, they get the winning goal, and it is heartbreak city for the Washington Panthers. They lose 11 to 10 in overtime. At the state tennis meet, our singles players from Metamora, Notre Dame, and U High were beaten in the quarterfinals, and the Morton doubles team beaten as well. Dunlap in third in the team standings.